<laughs> Have a laugh, all you radical dudes and dudettes. Toys is here, and I'm back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Arkham Asylum video game series, The Joker. And these were actually shown off at this past year's Toy Fair way back in February. And of course, it is based off of The Joker from the Arkham Asylum video game series, Arkham City, Arkham Knight, things like that. So if you haven't played the games, you may not know, but yeah, it's actually a pretty stylized character and they've taken certain liberties. You can see him in the packaging here. It comes with a couple accessories, which I'm totally liking on the side of the box. You have really nice, just really blatant, just the Joker, Batman, Arkham Asylum. I really like that they do that, especially when you're flipping through them at the store on the backside. You get some cross sells. You can see the Wonder Woman figures that just hit. You got the card with the Joker on it. I'm just, I'm excited about this figure. I love the video games. I played the first two. Didn't play that, what, Arkham Origins, and I still haven't played Arkham Knight, so no spoilers there. But sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of cocoa or, or coffee, what have you. We're about to take a look at the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Arkham Asylum, the Joker action figure. And here's the Joker all out of the packaging, and I kind of try to pose him just like he is on his little baseball card that he comes with. Really nicely sculpted, a lot of detail on this guy. I'm uh, very pleasantly surprised. I'm going to be honest with you. The face, I like it. I think it looks great. In terms of displaying him for the Arkham Asylum video game series and here's the bio if you want to go ahead and scream grab that you can read the whole deal but this joker actually looks to be more based on the uh, assault on arkham batman original movie he's more of a simplified animated look to the video game counterpart and you can actually see it here in these images it is a mixture of both but in terms of just how he looks how he's portrayed a little bit more simplistic in the paint the eyes not really coinciding too much with the actual video game. It's a little bit different here and there, especially in the paint for, let's say, his purple coat, his jacket. His accessories, though, are amazing. I absolutely love that the Joker came with a gun and some chattering teeth. The chattering teeth don't move, unfortunately, but you got a closed mouth and you got an open mouth, and they are painted rather nicely. Got a little wind-up gizmo. I remember throwing batterings at those things. It was even like a mission you had to do. You get all the teeth and you get a special something or other. Who knows? I got to replay the game. Not if I have time. I'm actually going to do that. And I like his gun. It's painted nicely. It's a nice silver gun. And yeah, you can recreate all that kind of stuff from the video game. The Joker himself, though, despite, let's say, not being, you know, totally spot on, he is a well-sculpted Joker. This is very cool. I like this guy. I like his hair, his face. He's got a really gnarly Widow's Peak going on. He doesn't have a huge amount of paint, let's say, on the purple parts, but he, he it's left out like the, the pinstripes of his suit, unfortunately, and then a patch on his leg. They kind of miss that detail, but it, the sculpting goes all the way around. You can see his coattail, his pants. It looks good, and the articulation is stellar. I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of people are on the fence about articulation. He's got some great double-jointed everything. <laughs> His head moves around, his wrists, you can get a lot of poses. He's got butterfly joints, he kicks out back. He's got proper toe joint functions, he even got the correct little pins in there. And man, does he hold his weapons well. It's fantastic, it just looks good. I mean, look at this, this is every much the epitome of the Joker holding the gun, holding some teeth. That is just very, very cool. I actually, I really like this figure and I kind of was like on the fence, you know, just in terms of like, having fun with it, posing him, but you could do lots of crazy, crazy poses with him, and it's a lot of fun, so I'm definitely going to say I recommend this right off the bat. You're going to like this Joker. Is he exactly based on the video game? No, there's some certain liberties here and there. He's got a bit more of an animated look, but this is the Joker, and that's really what I want to see. And His sculpted hand, he can hold both of the chattering teeth. It's very cool. He's got this awesome ab crunch to him you can throw him back give him all kinds of wild dramatic poses like in the video game and if you pose him with the harley quinn the one that came out in january he's taller than she is but it's it's the art style it's different it's different to the harley that we see from the video game so it works and it really doesn't we'll just say that he is a tall figure he is just over seven inches so he's gonna tower over a lot of different figures here's a 
The gradual degradation of Joker sizes. The Batman that came out, yeah, he'll look good with him. It's not a bad... Again, it's, it's just the art style. You got a little bit more detailed video game look, comic book simplicity, and of course he is taller, again, than most figures. So he's... He's a tall figure, but I actually really like him. I think he's cool. I think he's a very cool, janky-looking Joker. He's very Jack Skellington-like. He's got great paint on him. I think the head is very much in the same realm as the body. I don't think it's too big. He just has a giant mass of hair. Widow's Peak, so I think it's an optical illusion. But great face. Go through a couple of them if you can. I saw a couple that the teeth were a little bit painted. The mouth was a little bit red. You know, just look at them in the packaging. It's not all perfect. But the sculpting detail on this figure is awesome. All the buttons and the tie, everything's painted nicely. They missed one aspect. We'll say the patch on his leg if they had to miss something. That's not there. I wish they would have included the pinstripes. That's another thing. But the weapons are perfect. Chattering teeth and a gun for the Joker. That's awesome. Very, very cool. So I highly recommend him. I think he's great. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything the Joker, video games or otherwise. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who continues to watch my videos. I very much appreciate it, and I hope that you guys do enjoy this Joker. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.